Mountain Blade uh, Warband is also going to support multiplayer gameplay uh, with up to 64 players uh, on, on a server. Uh, and this is uh, one of the most exciting features uh, for us and also probably for the fans as well. In the multiplayer game there are uh, several different uh, game types you can play. Uh, some of those are uh, uh, the classical things like uh, that match where you uh, where every, every player is on his own and uh, everyone tries to fight against everyone else. There's a team that match where there are two teams and uh, the one who scores the most kills wins. Uh, there, there is a capture the flag uh, and um, uh, we, we have a, a game type called battle. Basically there are two teams and uh, the one uh, who survives at the end of the game is the winner. We have a fight and destroy mode, uh, which is more strategical, and uh, in that there's a defender team which defends two map objectives, which are um, things like a catapult or something that you have to defend. And there's an attacker team which tries to destroy those. One um, very exciting uh, new game type we are working on is called uh, the Siege. Uh, here uh, there are obviously two teams again uh, and there's a castle uh, and one team is trying to take the castle and the other one is trying to defend it uh, and apart from the ca uh, castle there are uh, um, in order to take the castle uh, you can use various methods for example there is a assault tower which you, try, you push towards the castle and use it to gain access uh, there are ladders around and you can just uh, put the ladders to the walls and try to take it and um, you can just take access and try to smash the doors uh, and, but um, and we, we are trying to make it such that all the aspects of medieval CG warfare work in the game uh, so uh, it's, it's really interesting so um, for example in the in the castle there are uh, different uh, flanking towers that that are used, which are um, which uh, are based on really um, historical, actual uh, uh, architectural details, uh, and you have loops for uh, archers where you can peek at the attackers and take snapshots at them. And we are trying to make sure that. Uh, there are the uh, castles are really sophisticated and things that you can um, play with. For example, there's a gatehouse and there's a mechanism for opening the gates, and you can just sneak into the castle if you can. You can just go, go find your way to the gate, gatehouse and uh, op operate the system and open the gate for your friends to rush in uh, and things like that. So it's it's really playful uh, and uh, make makes the castle. Uh, come alive and it's, it's a very popular mod and uh, we think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be um, very interesting for players. One very interesting feature uh, that we are working on is um, being a commander in the multiplayer game. Uh, so we thought that uh, okay uh, the multiplayer game is great uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you really play with uh, very few people. Um, for one reason or another. So we thought that, uh, I mean, one of the um, defining features of Mountain Blade is being able to command soldiers and fight a long time at the same time. So why not carry that idea over to multiplayer? Uh, so uh, what we came up with is that we have this system uh, where you can add bots to the game and it will distribute the bots to the players. Uh, and you can mix and match uh, everything uh, as you like. So, for example, if you have eight people, you can just uh, be separate uh, into two teams, each one uh, with, uh, with four commanders, and you can take, let us say, uh, six, seven, ten bots each. Uh, and then it will be like a battle and you will be like, I mean, you will, one of, you will perhaps be the supreme commander of the battle uh, and one of, the, one of you will perhaps be the commander of the infantry and one of you will command the archers and the other will command the cavalry. Uh, so uh, you, you can really 
uh, mix your uh, personal sword fighting skills uh, with your strategical skills and uh, uh, and um, play a very unique uh, different time of multiplayer game. Defining aspects of uh, Mountain Blade is its mods. Uh, without the mods, uh, Mountain Blade wouldn't be what it's now and um, uh, and it, we, we, uh, it owes a lot of its success to the mods. Uh, and we, we have a wonderful mod community and lots of exciting mods going on. Uh, mod authors will be able to make use of all the different multiplayer aspects. Uh, and they will be able to uh, customize or add in uh, different features. They, they will be able to set different rules, uh, add different game types. Uh, and basically design everything uh, to their heart's co content. Uh, we are very excited about Mountain Blade Warband uh, and uh, we think uh, if you are interested in medieval times and uh, if you like sword fighting and if you like the idea of riding on a horse and fi uh, fighting with uh, tough guys with swords, uh, then we, we think you should give it a try and you are going to enjoy Mountain Blade Warband.